I think what makes the youth issues fascinating is this multifaceted nature of their experience. They're going through uh, several transitions at the same time. Uh, they're growing up. They're going to become independent from their parents, as all youth must. They have to uh, find a job. They have to find a spouse, get married, find a place to live, set up an independent family unit. Uh, and these transitions, as you can see, they touch on education. What have you learned? Are you able to get a job? What kind of a labor market is out there? Who's looking to employ you? Are there small firms, large firms? Is government your main destination, your main hope of uh, finding a good job? And then uh, social institutions, a like governed marriage, how do people meet? What is the role of their parents? You know, what kind of financial commitments do you need uh, in order to become eligible uh, to marry someone? And then credit markets. They're very, very important because uh, how do you uh, signal that you're eligible for marriage if you don't have a house? Of course, a typical young person is not supposed to have a house. Now, in this country, you can go convince a banker that you're good, that you have prospects. Mm -hmm. And if the bank is willing to lend you money, then that's sort of a stamp of approval on your future, which you could take to, a, mm, to the marriage market, as economists would say. And uh, so this interdependence between these aspects of youth lives, I think, is very important, and both in understanding their problem and also in trying to fix it. But it's really heartbreaking when you go uh, visit uh, any number of the capitals in the Middle East. You see young people who work very, very hard throughout their school years. They work harder than their counterparts in this country, but maybe twice as hard. Hours of study at home are taken very, very seriously, a bit like in East Asia. The difference being that with East Asia that when they graduate, they have to wait. So it's like hurry up, hurry up, and wait, as they say. And uh, the uh, level of uh, disappointment, having worked so hard, not being able to find a job, much less be snatched up by an employer who wants you. This feeling of really being unwanted. In development literature, we talk about the demographic window of opportunity. And I like to think of it also as a window of opportunity for reform. Mm -hmm. So we can, you can, we can uh, implement important reforms that not only benefit youth, but also benefit everyone. Because I think pro-youth policy is also pro-growth and is pro-development.